Hey fellow backyard boys, Nick here. So today I'm gonna be making for you guys a minimal heat takedown bow. So I got a, again I got a lot of requests from you guys to do a bow that requires no flattening, no heat shaping, and everybody wanted a takedown. So we're gonna be starting start off with a five foot long. Uh, three quarter inch schedule 40 pipe. You're also going to need two six inch long one inch schedule 40 connectors, which are basically you take a piece of schedule 40 one inch pipe and cut it down to six inches. And then you're also going to need one 12 inch piece. This is the one inch schedule 40. So what you want to do is for your main pipe, you want to mark in the handle, you want to mark the center, and then you want to mark six inches out from the center. That's going to be where this piece is going to go, right in the middle. And then you want to measure in 17 inches from each end, and that's going to give you these marks here. So now what you want to do is you want to go ahead and just cut at these points. So I'm going to go do that and I'll show you what that looks like. I'm just going to take this and cut it right at our 17 inch mark. You can use a saw for this, I'm just using a PVC cutter. So now you have two 17 inch sections in your main section, which should be 23 inches long, if you can see here. All right, the first thing you want to do is drive this 12 inch section over the handle here. And what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to heat this up. Now, the one inch pipe is just a little bit smaller on the inside than the three-quarter inch pipe on the outside. So it doesn't take that much to get it to go inside. So we're just going to heat it up a little bit just till it gets a little soft and it'll be able to slide in. So we're going to actually heat a little bit, push it in, heat a little bit more, keep pushing until this whole section will slide over the center section. So I'm going to show you that. So you see that? So it slides in fairly easily. So you just heat up the next section. Okay, so here we go. I'm going ahead and I've driven it down this far. So now you're just going to have to more or less force it down to this point. So I'm just going to hit it against the ground until it gets in there.
So here's our handle section. So you can see the 12 inch section has been driven on. So now what we're going to do is you just want to go ahead and round off these edges here because this is going to be the section that goes into our connectors. So this is going to be the takedown section. So what you want to do is you want to just round those off and then we're going to go and connect the connectors to the limbs. Now that you've rounded off the ends here, you want to take a lubricant of some sort. I'm using a wax type lubricant. Now, really easy to apply. You just want to apply it to the ends here. And only these ends because these need to go in and out. Now, this stuff is great. If you can get a hold of it, I got it at my local hardware store. But this thing really helps on uh, connectors for takedowns. Okay, so once you've applied that, you're going to take your limb, it doesn't really matter which one or which side, you want to take one of your connectors. And what you want to do is you want to heat up the connector and then we'll drive this in halfway. So I'm going to do that. Okay, so now that it's in halfway, we want to heat up the other half. Okay. And you want to take this and drive it on. That simple. So you just want to hold this together, keep the limb straight, and then you just want to hold it until it cools. And once that cools, we're going to do the exact same to the other side. So just do this to the other side. I'm going to go ahead, finish that up, and I'll show you what that looks like. Alright, so here's the bow. Should I say the pipe reconnected? So as you can see, this pulls out. And this pulls out. So they're not all the same size, but the reason why we did this this way is to give the center section a little more space because we were putting this piece on here. But if you take these pieces, bundle them together, they fit together rather nicely like this. So you reassemble. And it really doesn't matter which side you put on which side. And once we cut the knocks, the bow will more or less self-align itself when you string it up. So it's not too big of a deal. So what we're going to do is I'm using a my tile saw. And I'm just going to cut a 1 8 inch cut into the pipe about an inch down. Really simple. There you go, as you can see, just a really simple cut. And now I'm going to go ahead, do this on the other side, and then I'm going to string this up. Alright, so now I'm going to string this up. I'm using a 55 inch long string. There you go.
Here it is. There we go. So now I'm going to go shoot this for you guys. So I'm going to be shooting for you guys. Uh, one thing I wanted to point out is what I did here was I actually twisted the top and bottom pipes just a little bit. Every time you shoot it, it'll kind of correct itself. So what I did was I shifted the string over to this side. That way it'll shoot a little more uh, center shot so it'll avoid this large handle here. Just something you can do. Alright guys, so you're going to be over my shoulder, I'm going to be shooting at that suitcase over there, so here you go. So there you go. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you later. Oh, one thing I wanted to show you guys. Almost forgot. There you go. Your piece taped down. It's fairly small. And when you need it, There you go. So thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time.